Fat loss is like a game of Jenga, but now your lehenga is mehenga. Want to maximize your fat loss results in 21 days? Stay tuned. Hi, welcome to this video. This video we'll be discussing about Keto Plus Intermittent Fasting 21 Day Plan. Now, this is a motivation, especially for people, those who have a wedding or they are attend attending their best friend's wedding or they have an event which they want to attend and they want to ensure that in these 21 days, they put everything in place so that they can try their best to be at the best shape. Now, yeah, 21 days is very less time for anybody to lose fat. It is like a crash diet. It is literally like how you're trying to get into keto and just intermittent fasting and use it like how typically people use a fat diet. But this is the motivation because a lot of us do not plan our life so easily. We have some things coming up at the last minute. Your best friend is getting married. You got an inv invitation. You're getting married in the next 21 days or you are getting married at the last minute. Or you have an event to attend. So this is the motivation to help people with Keto Plus Intermittent Fasting. In the last few videos, I've been speaking about how you should adapt to Keto first and then you should adapt to Intermittent Fasting later and use it like a tool. I'm contradicting my point here and I'm telling you an entire plan about how you can apply intermittent fasting with your keto journey so if you're new to keto i'm attaching a link below you can check out the playlist which can help you understand what is keto and what you can eat on keto what calculations you can do on keto but here we'll be speaking a step-by-step -step pattern where we can apply intermittent fasting on keto in 21 days i want to also put a disclaimer here sorry for this but i want to also put a disclaimer here that you should not do this because of being greedy if you want to maximize the results in 21 days yes it will but you're already crossing a lot of steps of progressive keto. In the last video, we, we were discussing about what is progressive keto. It's from step A to step B to step C to step D. How do you progress further? So now when you are putting this pattern, you should only put it when you have a reason to follow. When you have a reason to be in keto and intermittent fasting for the next 21 days. Now, this is my personal appeal because you would be greedy that I want to maximize my results in 21 days. But after 21 days or after a month, after two months, you may see stagnancy. So you should be very mindful about it. So starting with this video and dividing this into three chapters. One is we will understand the timings of what we are going to eat. Second, we will understand what you should do after 21 days. Third, we will understand some tips about what you should take care when you are adapting to keto plus intermittent fasting in these 21 days. So chapter one, in the first week, we'll start with 14 hours of fasting and 10 hours of eating. And we are going to increase our fasting hours by one hour for the first week. At the end of the first week, you will reach 21 hours of fasting and three hours of eating. This is going to be really difficult for you because the body is adapting to keto. In the first three, four days, you will have keto flu. Check the link in my description to know what is keto flu and the playlist. But also when you are adapting to keto with intermittent fasting for the first week, you will have a really, really tough time. So ensure that you drink enough water, you drink enough lemon salt water, you have keto fundamentals in place, you are eating in the right ratios, checking your keto meters to know you're on keto. But in the first week, we will start proceeding from 14 hours of fasting to 21 hours of fasting with just three hours of eating. In the second week, we'll stabilize these three hours of eating and with 21 hours of fasting and we'll include some workouts. Now here you should try to include a workout empty stomach. When you work out empty stomach, ensure that you do not eat anything after a workout for 45 minutes. I will also make a detailed video, which is going to be the next video about workouts. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video and share this with your friends. But bookmark this video because you may need it later. So in the first week, you are starting with 14 hours of fasting, increasing your fasting hours by one hour each, reaching 21 hours of fasting by the end of week one. The week two is going to be 21 hours of fasting with three hours of eating. Week three will also be 21 hours of fasting and three hours of eating. Now here are two choices for you, which is the second chapter of this video that how we will proceed after this. Now, when you have 21 days and you've started from first of the month, this is an example, first of the month and you have 21st, you're getting married on 22nd or you have an event on 22nd, which you want to attend. You have two choices. One, you have to decide whether this event is something where you will have to eat, where somebody is going to force feed you. Try assessing that. Do you have relatives around you? Do you have friends around you? They may ask you to eat. They may ask you to shove something or they may ask you to just eat some carbs. So here you have to make a decision. If you are going to eat it, then at least get out of keto two days prior to that. Shift to a low carb diet, shift to a diet with just two meals, shift to a normal eating pattern. But in any way, I would want you to shift to a normal eating pattern, even if you're eating or even if you're not eating. 
who can eat at a, if you if you if you are getting married you know your relatives are going to simply force feed you so it's better to be out of keto within these two days before this and after you're done with your entire event after you're done with your initial phase of after getting married and getting settled you can switch back to keto again and you can switch back to keto in the previous format which is starting with keto then applying intermittent fasting at a later stage but if you are doing this just for an event after this you can simply switch off the intermittent fasting window and shift to two meals in a day or maximum three meals in a day depending upon what's comfortable for this event now when you want to apply intermittent fasting you can start with the progressive phase i'm also attaching a link of the last video which was all about how you can apply intermittent fasting and how you can leave intermittent fasting in 90 days and what patterns should you apply so this is the second chapter which is going to be all about how and what you should proceed after you are done with your 21 days of intermittent fasting and keto third thing there are going to be certain tips which i'll give you that what you should do in these 21 days number one don't be greedy if you are not losing fat don't try to apply this try to apply the progressive pattern that is any day better this is like a crash diet yeah i am selling a crash diet to you i am telling you like a fat diet keto is a metabolic state it is always great to be on keto and intermittent fasting and apply it progressively don't be greedy Second point, during a fasting phase, ensure that you have enough water and stay hydrated. Do not play with your timings. Select a comfortable timing because at the end of week one, you will reach only three hours of eating. If you're getting married in the next three weeks, you may go out for shopping. You would want to try your clothes. You would have a lot of commitments. Ensure that you find a comfortable spot here. Number three, don't do this if you're not confident about you applying this comfortably. If you think that in these three weeks, you will have a lot of commitments and you'll not be able to eat, you'll be out of energy, you are not confident about it, you have never tried keto, you have never, never heard about keto, don't do this. It's better to not to do something like this. Instead, what you can do is that you can try to at least fast for 16 hours and eat in eight hours. A typical 16-8 pattern is also great for you. Number four, which is a bonus tip. This pattern is something which is my top secret. I only apply it with my clients, those who have a date they have a countdown date. Yes, it has worked with them. It has helped them maximize their results. But then once you leave intermittent fasting, if you attempt intermittent fasting again, your body is going to be resistant to it because body knows what you're doing. You should surely apply progressive keto. You should surely apply progressive intermittent fasting and gradually increase your fasting hours. Don't just play with this pattern. Don't use this like a tool. Don't try to crash diet yourself. Don't try to make artificial urgency in your life because this is going to be really really difficult for you you will not be able to adapt to keto for a long period of time you will see stagnancy in your weight you will see stagnancy in your fat loss so to sum it up this is a 21 day pattern which you can apply with keto and intermittent fasting you can also do it with a low carb diet you can also do it with the normal diet as well depending upon what you are comfortable with if your healthy eating eating habits are already in place but I hope this helps. So don't forget to like the video, share this with your friends, bookmark it for the next time when you want to watch this and also press the subscribe button and press the bell icon. The next video is going to be about keto and workout. That will also have some couple of videos where we'll be speaking about how you can start the workout, how you can maximize your results if you already have an active lifestyle, what workouts help you to maximize your results on keto. And don't forget to stay tuned on this channel. This is Daul Kamra signing off.